Hi, I'm Ann Thomas, and this is a video about awards. I'm going to start at the end so that you can understand how this impacts your career in the entertainment industry. Always, always do your best, no matter what. You never know when you or the project you are working on may have a light shown on it and be evaluated for an award. Each year, the entertainment industry does award shows of which a few are broadcast, but the majority are either partially or completely not aired. Run by various unions, guilds, academies, and others, their primary purpose is fundraising. This talk has been done during the COVID epidemic, and all details in it are based on pre-pandemic information. What's the scope of the competition? Well, around 120 feature films are produced in the industry annually. About 550 TV series are in production annually. Let's look more in depth at those numbers and how it impacts the voters who vote for the nominees and the winners. If the average feature film length is 90 minutes, and it's not, then that's about 180 hours of films. Imagine sitting through that honestly. Years ago, I read in a local newspaper in Canada about their ratings judge who had been doing that job uh, for at least a decade or two. If I recall collect correctly, because this had been, had, was somewhere around 25 or 30 years ago that I read it, he had to watch focused every single film coming into Canada and assign the rating to assign to it. He said his memory was totally shot from all those years of watching every single film that came out. He said when you watch them all, just which he did, it just left him numb. This was back long before the industry reached the level of 120 annual films that we have today. For TV series, what they do, if I understand the process correctly, is they submit one episode from the season that they feel is the best episode. And I don't know who makes that decision. So if they are all submitted, that's about 550 episodes that have to be watched. Episodes vary in length, with the majority being around either 22 minutes for a comedy to 42 minutes for a drama. There's other lengths as well, varying from as short as 10 minutes to more than 42 minutes, all of which are possible under streaming. So let's just say the average length is 30 minutes. That totals 275 hours of episodes to watch and evaluate. That's way more than the time needed for all the films. In total, using my length averages, the voters are looking at spending about 455 hours of watching if they have to vote on both film and TV for the awards the organization is giving. So let's be realistic. If a voter is working a full-time or more job, that's a staggering amount of time to spend watching content they'd have to watch in order to give everyone a fair viewing. Do they marathon it and watch them all one after another, binge them just before the big uh, voting time? Or do they spread them out over most of the years since the last award show? What happens if they turn on the video and be in cooking dinner and get a phone call while it runs and miss a great scene? So, what actually happens that I've heard of? Well, all the voters get free access to the pool of films and, and or TV episodes to watch. So I would think it's getting them to watch the episodes that's the key or getting to watch the films. Those of us living in the Los Angeles area are used to seeing signs up for movies and TV series with the phrase, for your consideration on them. What those are is ads being run to get the award show voters to watch the episodes or the film being advertised. It's called an FYC campaign. What you see in the outdoor advertising is only a tip of the iceberg, too. They also run digital ads on the industry trades websites and print ads in the print copies of the industry trades. And there's also publications that some, if not all, of the groups put out exclusively to their membership with costly ad placements. Then there's the parties. Part of the reason A-List exists 
is in addition to pulling an audience, they're also a great draw for the FYC parties. They throw these only inviting voting members of the organization doing the awards. It's usually included in the contract for the A-lister that if they, are, they possibly can, they should attend these promotional parties. The A-lister can not only be the actors, but the director, producers, and executive producers, or anyone else that could be a huge draw. These parties are very extravagant and expensive. The voters come to them for all the free stuff, the fancy foods, and the chance to hobnob with current A-listers. It has been reported that the total cost of doing an FYC campaign can run as high as $30 million. So who pays for this? Well, who benefits from a nomination or a win? When a film gets a nomination or a win, it's given it's given that it goes back out to theaters again for a limited run. For TV series, it gets a boost as folks decide they're going to binge the series who've never seen it before or want to see it again. Ad revenue jumps, so with more ticket sales and views, it's the distributors that benefit right off. By distributors, that means the company that is getting the film to the theaters or is streaming the series or film. So, it's the distributors that pay for the FYC campaigns and reap the direct benefit of it. For an award win, they'll get their FYC investment back many times over. It's milking the project for more money, essentially. So level playing field. So, as you can see, it's really hard to make it a level playing field for awards in general just due to the sheer volume. If a film, TV series, or actor that you thought was deserving is not nominated, see if the distributor did an FYC campaign, campaign for it. If not, that may be your answer. There could be other reasons to why, as well. This may shine a little light on why not all projects and people are evaluated by the voters each year for each award. So those that got nominated and won may not have been compared with everyone else in their category that year. Always, always do your best no matter what. You never know when you or the project you're working on may have a light shown on it and be evaluated for an award.